We're going into the third game now. Uh, two two wins so far. All good. Yeah, so far so good. Um, it was a must-win game against Ukraine and vital three points. So um, we just have to keep it going now. Keep the good form going into the next game. The manager of Vera has called this a must-win game because she she wants to fight for that second spot. Are the players sharing that mentality? Yeah, absolutely. Everyone is in agreement with that. Um, we have to get points off all of the teams around us if we want to have a serious chance of, of making it. So um, it's a must-win game for us, yeah. It's a forced away game in the group. Does that carry any significance, really? Um, no, I don't think so. Um, personally, I really like away games. Um, obviously, we'll miss the home crowd because it was absolutely fantastic against Ukraine. Um, but no, I think it's always exciting to play away from home as well. It's a, another challenge for us um, and one that we're really looking forward to. In terms of how the group is shaping up, Germany have obviously stormed ahead at the start. Mm. You know, scoring a lot of goals, as yeah. we probably expected them to do. Um, so that second spot is really what focus now. Yeah, of course. Um, obviously, you know, you need to believe that you can be anyone on, on the day. But um, realistically, we're, we're playing for second and um, we have to do the job against everyone else in the group and um, see where that takes us and, and try to get as many goals and as many points on the board as possible. You've been around the, the squad for a couple of years now and mm. I suppose every campaign you go into you obviously want to qualify, you want to be that first team that's qualified for a major tournament for the Ireland mm. women's team. Um, does this feel different in any way compared to other campaigns? Um, I would just say the only difference is that there's probably more belief. There's a serious belief that we can do it whereas perhaps in the past it was you hoped, you hoped and you prayed that we could do it, but I feel like with the development we've made over the past uh, two years, it's just the confidence and the belief is there that we, it really is our time now. There's, with that as well, there's a good blend of experience and youth. When, when you see the younger mm. girls coming in, does that give you energy and kind of see like it's a challenge as well? Like does it revitalize you a little bit? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I remember when I was their age and I was coming into the team for the first time. Uh, so it brings that all back to you and it, it just re-emphasizes the fact that you need to look after them and, and, and support and help them as much as you can. Um, do you do anything special in that regard? Um, I think I'm always just there to, to talk to them, make them feel welcome, um, not to leave them on their own. Um, give them some words of advice before maybe their debut or before the game. Um, so hopefully it helps in some way but um, absolutely it energizes the, the team as well and you can see the young talent that's coming through and of course then it adds competition to places which is what you want so um, no all in all it's, it's a positive yeah. You, you mentioned there about the, the mindset changing into a, a belief rather than you know praying or hoping before when you see these young girls come through a lot of these are used to winning at underage mm -hmm. level so they almost mm -hmm. they don't know any different yeah, no, and um, obviously that adds to the team, the dynamics and the mentality and uh, I think also they can learn off the senior players as well what we've been through and it's not been easy as well so we can we can learn off each other and, and just grow the team together. In terms of how you, you played against Ukraine, it was it, it turned into a little bit helter-skelter at times, mm. didn't it? but it showed so much character to get, get over the line and get that win in front of a big crowd. Absolutely. Um, I think we got off to a great start um, and 2-0 up, you know, you should be quite comfortable but obviously things happen and um, mistakes happen and then we're in a very difficult situation but to be honest, the way we turned that game around and the sheer fight that we had and will to get to three points because we knew we needed to win and get to three points I think showed the strength of the team and the strength of the mentality and perhaps in years gone by we, we would have lost that game or tied that game. So I think that also was evidence that things have changed. How important is that? Because to have that, to be able to rely on that spirit that you can turn to the player next to you and know that they're going to go all the way for you as much mm. as you're going to go for them. Yeah, I mean, I think that's, um, that's just an Irish trait. And I think we've always had that uh, at every level and at every team I've been involved in. And that's just the, the base, you know, that, that's the platform that we build on. Whereas now I think we need to take our game to the next level and, and add on the criteria necessary to compete with the best. Because sure. you can't just rely on that alone. And I think you can't win without that. But with us, we have that in abundance. And mm -hmm. that, is, that is us, that is Ireland. So 
um, for sure it, that gets us extra points but for us as a team we also need to to build off that and, and add to our game. This, this is the first day of camp now and you, you had the first training session mm. done and complete. Is This is the exciting time now I presume? Yeah, I mean it's always exciting to be in, in camp and especially now everything's so new with Vera so every day it's, it's quite uh, new and interesting what's going to happen, how training's going to be so uh, now it's exciting to be in and looking forward to going to Greece on, on Sunday as well to get out there and, and bring the game closer and closer. What would it mean to fi finish the year with, with three wins? Oh, it would be brilliant. I mean, that was our aim, obviously, um, going into the, the campaign. So it would just be the perfect ending to the year, really, and, and set, up, set us up nicely for the tough games to come in, in the new year.